Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how is percent regrind determined. In the world of plastic manufacturing, there are two broad categories of plastics that are used. There is virgin plastic, which means it has just been manufactured and not used for any other purpose. And there is regrind plastic, plastic that has already been manufactured and then is being broken down so it can be used again. Percent regrind refers to how much of a given unit of plastic is comprised of regrind plastic. Now there are two basic ideas of how one can do this. One is to use volume, the other is to use weight. Typically, percent regrind is calculated using weight. So let's say that in a particular batch of plastic, there are 25 pounds of regrind and 50 pounds of virgin plastic. In order to determine the percent regrind, we first need to calculate the total weight, which we get by simply adding these two quantities. And we get 75 pounds. From here, we divide the weight of the regrind by the weight of the total. It's 25 divided by 75 which gives us one-third or 0 0.33 repeating. From here, in order to convert from a decimal to a percentage, we simply multiply by 100, which gives us 33.33%. .33%. As we said before, it's important that the two quantities that you are given, regrind and virgin plastic, are given not only in the same units, but also the same idea of weight versus volume. If, for example, this were changed from pounds to liters, we would need to first know what the density of this material is and then use that to convert from liters to pounds. From there, we can calculate the percent regrind. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how is percent regrind determined?